हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 9.2 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम राइट द जनरल टर्म इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू नो व्हाट इज द फार्मूला टू फाइंड आउट द जनरल टर्म Suppose you have a plus b whole to the power n, okay? And you know how the expansion of the binomial theorem. So according to that, here the formula to find out the general term that is t r plus one, okay? And here t r plus one will be that one, t r plus one that equal to n c r a to the power n minus r b to the power r, okay? So now here the first problem. So first problem that is one one, you have x square minus y whole to the power six. Okay, x square minus y whole to the power six. That means here you have to find out t r plus one. Okay, t r plus one. So as here, whenever you write down the general term t r plus one, so what will be the formula in c r. Okay, that means here six C R because six is the value of n. Next one a to the power n minus r. So as here a means x square, so you have to write down here x square. Then it's to the power n minus r. Here n means six, so six minus r. Next one here b to the power r. As here b means minus y, so minus y to the power r. Clear? So that means your final answer 6c r then x to the power 12 minus 2 r and then minus y to the power r as your final answer. It's very easy. Okay. Now let's move on to sum number two. Sum number two you have x square minus x y whole to the power 12. That means here n equal to 6. So if you find out the general term that means t r plus 1. So that will be here 12 C R. Okay. Then here x square to the power 12 minus R. And next one here minus x y to the power R. So write down here 12 C R. That one will be x to the power 24 minus 2 R. And here you have minus X to the power r into y to the power r. Okay, minus x to the power r into y to the power r. So you can also write down this one minus sign here. It will be here minus one. Write down then 12 c r. And as here x to the power 24 minus 2 r plus r. Okay, so that will be here x to the power 4 24 minus r and then y to the power r as your final answer. Next number three. So in number three, you have x square minus one by x whole to the power twelve. So that means t r plus one will be here twelve c r. Then here x square to the power twelve, and that is twelve uh, because here twelve minus r, and the next one it will be minus one by x. Whole to the power r. Clear? Now, as here, write down minus one, then 12 c r. This one will be x to the power 24 minus 2 r. And 1 by x means x to the power minus 1. So you you can write down here x to the power minus r. So that will be minus 1, 12 c r, x to the power 24 minus 3 r as your final answer. Now next one, sum number two. Find the third term in the expansion. So here, two one, and here the expansion three x square minus two by x whole to the power eight. And here you have to find out the third term. Okay, so third term means t three. You can write down t three as t two plus one. Now here you can apply that formula t r plus one. Okay, that means here r equal to two. Okay, here r equal to two, n equal to eight. 
and here a equal to 3 x square b equal to minus 2 by x it's very easy okay so now write down here the formula will be n c r so that will be now you can write down n means 8 so it will be here 8 c and here 2 8 c 2 very careful about that okay now next one next one you have 3 x square as a so write down here 3x square to the power as here n minus r. n means here 8, so 8 minus 2. Next one, here b, b to the power r means minus 2 by x whole to the power r means here 2. So now, what is the value of 8c2? The value of 8c2 is 8 factorial by 2 factorial and then 8 minus 2 that means 6 factorial okay here 3x square to the power 6 and that one will be as whole square so you can write down as 4 by x square okay 4 by x square now 8 factorial means you can write down 8 into 7 into 6 factorial and then here 2 factorial means 2 into 1 into 6 factorial so 6 factorial cancel out here 3 to the power 6 into x to the power 12 because 6 into 12 and that one equal to 4 by x square. Now 2 cancel out with this one it's 4 so it becomes 28 and 28 into 3 to the power 6. So here 3 to the power 6 means 7 to 9 and then x square cancel out x to the power 12 it becomes x to the power 10 and then into 4 okay x to the power 10 then into 4 so now your final answer will be as here 28 into 4 it's 112 then into 729 into x to the power 10 that is your final answer now sum number 2 sum number 2 you have find the fourth term find the fourth term of x minus so here x minus 2y whole to the power 12 you have to find out t4 so t4 means you know that t3 plus 1 that means here in that case r equal to 3 n equal to here 12 okay and a means x b means 2y negative 2y so i hope you can solve it so let's move on to sum number 3 now in sum number 3 you have 2x square plus 1 by x whole to the power 12 and you have to find out the 10th term okay you have to find out the 10th term so as here t10 t10 means you can write down here t9 plus 1 so that means here r equal to 9 n equal to 12 so 12 c 9 then here a to the power that means 2 x square to the power 12 minus 9 and then here 1 by x means x to the power minus 1 to the power r means 9 clear now next it will be here 12 factorial then 9 factorial into 3 factorial as here 12 minus 3 it's sorry 12 minus 9 it becomes 3 so 2 to the power 3 then here x to the power 6 because 2 into 3 it becomes 6 and that one will be x to the power minus 9 okay so now write down here 12 into 11 into here 10 then 9 factorial and write down here 9 factorial into 3 into 2 into 1 so 9 factorial cancel out 3 cancel out it becomes 4 and then 2 cancel out it becomes 2 here 2 e to the power 3 here x to the power 6 minus 9 it becomes minus 3 so as here 2 into it's 22 0 into 8 into x to the power minus 3 so now 2 to 0 into 8 that is 1 7 6 0 divided by x to the power 3 as your answer now the next one sum number 3 find the fourth term of from the end in the expansion of x cube by 2 minus 2 by x square whole to the power 9 now one thing you have to remember that the fourth term from the end it will be exactly equal to the fourth term from the beginning of minus 2 by x square plus x cube by 2 whole to the power 9 
that means whenever you want to find out the term from the end then you have to just interchange the value of a and b in the expansion okay so now you have the new expansion that is minus 2 by x square plus x cube by 2 whole to the power 9 so here you can directly apply the formula that is t r plus 1 you know that and as here fourth term that means t 3 plus 1 so it will be here then n c r n means 9 c and r means here 3 now in that case here a equal to minus 2 by x square whole to the power here 9 minus 3 and here b equal to x cube by 2 whole to the power r r means here 3 okay so 9 c 3 9 factorial by 3 factorial and then 6 factorial here 9 minus 3 that means 6 so minus 2 by x square whole to the power 6 and here x to the power 9 and 2 to the power 3 means 8 okay x cube to the power cube that means 9 and 2 to the power cube that means 8 so write down here 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial and 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 then again 6 factorial here minus 2 to the power 6 it will be 2 to the power 6 and it will be x square to the power 12 into x to the power 9 by 8 okay or you can write down here uh, 8 as 2 to the power 3 okay now here 6 factorial 6 factorial cancel out 3 3 is a 9 and 2 4 is a 8 that means here 3 into 4 it's 12 okay and then 12 into 7 84 so 84 into 2 to the power 6 and as here x to the power 9 cancel out x to the power 12 it become x to the power 3 or you can also cancel out this one 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 6 it becomes 2 to the power 3 so instead of 2 to the power 6 write down directly 2 to the power 3 into x to the power minus 3 okay 2 to the power 3 into x to the power minus 3 now if you find out the value of 84 and 2 to the power 3 means 8 it's 672 then divided by x cube that is your final answer now sum number 3 2 in sum number 3 2 what is the coefficient of the middle term in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 10 so here the formula to find out the middle term when n is even number as here n equal to 10 which is a even number so in that case the middle term will be n by 2 plus 1 that means here the middle term will be n by 2 that means 10 by 2 plus 1 and that equal to 6 term so that means you have to find out here t6 and t6 will be the formula t5 plus 1 now you know the formula that is ncr that means 10 c 5 then a to the power then 1 to the power 10 minus 5 and then x to the power here 5 okay so now here 10 c 5 that means here 10 factorial then 5 factorial and again 5 factorial and that one equal to 1 into x to the power 5 okay so you can directly write down this one as the coefficient of value so as here 10 factorial means you write down here 10 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial then divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 again 5 factorial so 5 factorial 5 factorial cancel out and here the next one 5 cancel out it 10 it's 2 2 cancel out it's 4 it becomes here 2 then 2 cancel out with 8 it becomes 4 again 2 cancel out with 4 it becomes 2 3 cancel out it's 2 so now you have 9 into 7 into 4 okay 9 into 7 into 4 and that equal to 252 okay so write down here 252 x to the power 5 so here the coefficient that means the required answer will be here 252 so 252 is the coefficient and that is your answer now next one sum number 4 find the middle term in the expansion of this one so here the first one is x by y plus y by x whole to the power 10 that means here n equal to 10 and you know that if n is even number then the middle term will be n by 2 that means 5 so it will be here 10 by 2 plus 1 that means here 6 
so that means t6 is the middle term so t6 means t5 plus 1 so you know the formula it will be ncr that means 10 c5 then next one a to the power okay x by y whole to the power 10 minus 5 and then again b to the power so y by x whole to the power 5 so you can write down this one as 10 c5 then here x to the power 5 y to the power 5 into y to the power 5 x to the power 5 cancel out so your answer will be here 10 c5 it's very easy okay 10 c5 or you can also write down the value that is 252 now the next one number 2 number 2 is as same as this one here you have x minus 1 by x whole to the power 10 that means again t5 plus 1 so again 10 c5 then here x to the power 5 and then 1 by x to the power 5 so it will be cancel out that means here again sorry here is a minus sign so in that case your answer will be minus 10 c5 and that one will be minus 252 it's very easy okay now let's move on to the last sum and here the last one is x square minus 1 by x so the third one is x square minus 1 by x whole to the power 6 so 6 means again even that means 6 by 2 plus 1 that will be 3 plus 1 that means fourth term so you have to find out t4 t4 means here t3 plus 1 so n6 n c3 then a to the power x square to the power 6 minus 3 it's 3 and then here minus 1 by x whole to the power 3 so that equal to 6 c3 so you can write down as 6 factorial by 3 factorial and then again 3 factorial it's x to the power 6 and that one will be minus x to the power minus 3 so here first one minus then 6 factorial means 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. Here 3 into 2 into 1 into 3 factorial. It's cancel out. Then 3 to 6 cancel out. So here 5 into 4 minus 20. And as here x to the power 6 into x to the power minus 3, it will be x cube. So minus 20 x cube is your answer. Now the last one for this video, sum number 5. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here, find the middle term in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 2n. So as you know that if n is an even number, then uh, the middle term will be n by 2 plus 1. As here, 2n. So 2n also a middle number. So sorry, 2n also a even number. So you can write down in place of n here 2n. So 2n by 2 plus 1, that means here n plus 1th. So n plus 1th term is the middle term. That means here t n plus 1. So according to the formula, it will be 2n, then c n, then 1 to the power 2n minus n, and then x to the power n. So here 2 n c n, and 1 to the power n means 1. So x to the power n is your answer.